Hi everyone, Ken here with Ken's Creations and I'm so excited to finally show you the new machine in the Cricut family. The new Cricut Explore Air is an amazing machine that, unlike the first machine, has a built-in wireless Bluetooth so you don't have to buy the additional adapter like you did with the original machine. Now what is this going to do for you? It's going to allow you to cut from your iPad to or newer or your computer. You'll be able to design and then you'll be able to cut to the Cricut Explore wire free which is huge i absolutely love this feature so what i want to show you in this video is i want to go and show you what comes in the box then i'm going to show you how to set up either the computer or the ipad and then we're going to show you the first cut so let's first take a look what comes in the box so we went ahead and took everything out of the box now the nice thing is is there's not a lot of packaging which makes unpacking this very quick so what do you get you get your power cord right here you have a USB cable. Now why would you need the USB cable if this is a wireless cutting system? You're going to need this to do your firmware updates to your computer from your machine. You're also going to get a pen which is used in your first project, a 12 by 12 standard mat, a start here guide which we're going to go over in just one second, and then of course you get your machine. Your machine is in this nice carrying bag which is a very nice feature so you can carry this to crops and other events. And as you can see, just remove the material in there and the machine is right in there. So let's go and get um, the machine out of here and I will go ahead and show you the initial setup. So the first thing you're going to notice when you open your Cricut Explorer Air is the Start Here folder. Now this folder contains all the information on how to set up your Cricut Explorer Air for your computer and your iPad. Now what comes in here? So here is the first thing you're going to notice is the Cricut customer service number. Now Cricut customer service will help you walk through setting up your machine or if you have any questions on the machine or software. Now Cricut's done an amazing job in making sure that you can set this machine up in less than five minutes on your iPad or computer. So in here you have your instructions on how to set up your iPad. You also have your instructions on how to set up your computer. You have a learn more. Now in here this is kind of a quick reference guide for the Cricut Explore Air and goes over a lot of the features and benefits of the machine. They also give you some free classes at Create a Bug and all the information is on this pamphlet. You have your warranty information. They also give you your first material to make your first project using the Cricut Explore Air, which we're going to show you later in the video. Now, another thing they give you is instructions on how to use iron-on. Sometimes iron-on can be an intimidating material to use, so I think it's great Cricut give you a piece so you could go ahead and practice with that. Now let's go ahead and get our machine ready for its first cut. So now let's show you how you can go ahead and set up your computer to cut this first project on your Cricut Explore Air. We're going to be following the steps in this easy setup guide that shows you how to set up your computer for your Cricut Explore Air. So let's go ahead and get started following this book.
Now we're on to step 16 of that user guide. Now what we're going to do is go to www.cricket.com forward slash setup. It's going to bring you to this screen and this is going to go ahead and set up your Cricut machine. You're going to connect to Cricut Design Space. You're going to get those free images and create the sample project that the materials came in your box. It's really easy and there's videos throughout. You can also find many videos on YouTube from many of the Cricut product experts. So let's go ahead and get started by pressing the get started key. The first thing it's going to do is check your plugin for Cricut Design Space. This is really important because you want to make sure you're running the most up-to-date version plugin. So this is letting me know that I am not running the correct plugin and I need to download it. So I'm going to go ahead and download this plugin. It's going to go up here to my download bar, which is right up here. Once it is done downloading, we can go ahead and open this program. Now keep in mind, once you open this program and install it, it is going to kill all of your windows. So it wants to know if I'm sure I want to open this, which I am. So I'm going to hit open. I am going to put in my system password. So on a Mac computer, I have to put in my password that I log into my computer with, not my design space password. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. This is going to install the wizard that's going to install design space onto my computer. Just takes a few steps. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. You're going to want to read the terms and conditions or scroll through them. And then it's going to go ahead and tell you you need to quit Safari in order for this to work. Now, it's going to kill any of your web browsers. So if you have Chrome, Safari, Firefox, any of them open, it's going to kill those. So not a big deal. We're going to hit quit and continue. It's going to tell you you're quitting your uh, browsers. So if you have any work that needs to be saved on any of your tabs, make sure to do that. Once we've done that, it's going to tell you we are ready to begin. So we're going to hit next going to go ahead and then say success we finished and now you can go ahead and hit finish and it will relaunch now that we have the plugin installed we can go ahead and log into design space now if you do not have a Cricut ID that's okay you can click create a Cricut ID I have a whole video on how to create a Cricut ID and you can watch it by clicking now on the screen if you already have a Cricut ID and this would be the same one if you went to Cricut.com ever go ahead and fill it in with your email and then your password. Don't forget, it's case sensitive. And go ahead and hit sign in. This is gonna log you into Cricut Design Space and there's only a few more steps we need to take. And it's letting us know we get two free weeks to the Cricut Design Space subscription service. We don't have to give them a credit card. There's no commitments. So for the next 14 days, just enjoy all of the images. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. And now we're ready for our first project. So this is the card project we're going to make on our machine. So let's go ahead and hit continue. Once that's done, it will bring you to the project and we're ready to go ahead and do this project. So all you need to do is simply hit go and we'll be able to start creating the project. Now, as you can see, that hello there is a little bit lighter and it's going to write that with that silver pen. And then these lines here, it's going to go ahead and cut. So let's go ahead and hit go and get started. Well, now your first project's complete and so is your setup and registration. As you can see, Cricut has made it very simple to go from your setup to creating in a matter of minutes. Now you have a couple of options. You can go ahead and start creating and go right over to Cricut Design Space. You can also learn more by checking out online manual, video tutorials, and taking a look at frequently asked questions. Now your Cricut Explore Air does come with a Bluetooth connection. Or if you bought one separately, you can use this option to see what a setup Bluetooth connection is. Always remember your pin number for the Cricut Explore wireless adapter is 0000. zero, zero, zero. So that's four zeros. This page here will take you to everything you need to know about the wireless Bluetooth adapter, how to set it up, and how to use it, either with the standard Cricut Explore or the Cricut Explore Air. 
For right now, we can go ahead and go to Start Creating, and that's going to take us to Cricut Design Space, where you can hit File, New Project, and start getting used to your new machine. So as you can see, setting up your Cricut Explore Air for your computer was a breeze. We were able to set it up, make our first telephone card, and get everything on our computer in a matter of minutes. All we had to do was follow the easy setup guide provided to us by Cricut on how to make sure your computer is set up properly. So I really, really thought this was an easy process. They couldn't have made this a better, easier process to follow. All right, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Make sure you're checking out my blog over at www.creativeken.com. Make sure you don't miss out on any of my Cricut videos. Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you check out all of those videos that I currently have and the ones that are upcoming soon. So I really hope you enjoy your new Cricut Explore Air and I hope you can go out there and create something magical with it. Thanks.